Hi guys, hope you're all doing fantastic. Today we're going to talk about LED Wi-Fi dimmer switch and the most common problems that you face. Uh, one being uh, the lights flickering and two being the lights not turning off even when you turn off the switch. So we're going to talk about that. This is Ashwin here and you're watching Everyday Life. Thank you for all the support and love you give to our channel. Uh, if you're not a subscriber yet, please click on the subscribe button and please click on the bell button to get uh, updates on our new videos. We do a lot of videos on everyday problems and how they can be fixed, not doing the same mistakes that usually we do. And I don't want you to burn your fingers doing the same mistakes that I've already done. So here we go. This is the LED floor lamp that we have at home. And the main purpose and the main idea behind this project is we wanted to create a floor lamp which can be turned on, turned off and can also be dimmed uh, just by sitting in the city without moving. And uh, the way we have done this is we can even turn on the light, turn off and dim it down all by using just the TV remote. And for this project, what I have got is a Wi-Fi dimmer. It's hard to get a Wi-Fi dimmer that is LED compatible in the market. The usual dimmers do work on this one, but where you will find a problem is that the dimmer, when you turn on, even if you turn off the, the plug or even if you say the dimmer to turn it off, it doesn't, the lights simply don't turn off. They will still be glowing at 10% or 20% of the brightness. And there is a reason for this, which I'll explain you further in the video. And uh, the most common problems that you will face uh, while setting up this project is your LED bulbs, make sure that you buy a dimmable LED bulbs. The regular LED bulbs don't work with this. For the dimmable LED bulbs, this is what I have got from Amazon. I'll leave you a link below. Uh, and the next thing that you would need is uh, a Wi-Fi dimmer, which I have shown you below. That's the one. Uh, and so what we have done here is I've got the main power socket. The main uh, the main plug which has, which goes into the Wi-Fi dimmer, it's an um, it's an in and out mechanism. So the the main plug goes into the Wi-Fi dimmer, and again from the Wi-Fi dimmer the connections go out from it, uh, and that's what goes into the feed of the LED lamps. So now, the main important thing that you need to understand is that these dimmers are made for regular halogen bulbs. There are some LED dimmers in the market, but those dimmers are your usual turn on, turn off knobs, uh, which are stationary, but they are not Wi-Fi enabled or they are not smart dimmers, which you can use with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So with this dimmer, because they are made for the halogen bulbs, the problem that you will face is they will not just turn off. So I'm going to show you now what is the main problem with these dimmers. I have turned on the light now and you will see, I'll show you shortly what happens uh, when I try to switch it off using the Wi-Fi dimmer. Turn off the lights. See, as you can see, the lights have dimmed down. According to the dimmer, it has switched off the lights, but still the lights are glowing. This happens because the, most of the dimmers that are in the market are designed for halogen bulbs. So the halogen bulbs work on high electricity. Most of the dimmers have a minimum of 60 watts of electricity and they go up to 300 or 400 watts. So and the, the number of bulbs which we have here are eight bulbs uh, and each one of them is five watts. So all the eight bulbs with the five watts are still up to 40 watts. So anything below 60 watts, the dimmer would still allow the electricity to come into the flow lamp. So because it is less than 60 watts, it's 40 watts, the, the flow lamp is glowing and the dimmer thinks that it, is, it has turned it off, but the floor lamps are still glowing. To solve this problem, there are two ways. One is by using a halogen bulb in at least one of them. If you use a halogen bulb of for 20 watts or 30 watts, then it increases the overall voltage of this to 60 watts or 70 watts. At that point, the dimmer will work, but then it defies the whole point of using LED bulbs because the whole idea of using the LED bulbs is to reduce the consumption of electricity but by using one halogen bulb again, you're increasing the consumption of electricity. And to solve this problem, the other way of doing it is by using a Wi-Fi smart plug, which is where this one comes into play. This I have ordered from Amazon. Again, I'm going to leave you a link. And so how this one works is, I'm going to fit this one into the main plug. So this one will have two smart devices working on it, one to turn it on and turn it off, and the other Wi-Fi dimmer just to dim it down and dim it up, you know, brighten it up. So how I'm going to use uh, this 
smart plug to resolve this problem is that I'm going to connect it to the main, main plug point of the flow lamp. And once this is connected, so this is going to turn on and turn off the lights while this is going to help us dim up, uh, brighten up and dim down the lights. So there are two smart gadgets working on this one, but then they do the job perfectly because it doesn't matter whether it is, whether the bulbs and the electricity that you have here is two watts or 20 watts or 200 watts, this is going to just turn it off or turn it on. And whenever it is turned on, then this, once the electricity goes to here, so this will help in brightening it up or dimming it down to the requirement that you have. I'm going to show you now how better it is going to work now. Now I have connected everything and uh, I'm going to show you a demonstration now. I have connected it with using a Smart Life app. I have uh, connected the plug and the dimmer to the Smart Life app and then I have connected it to the Google Home which works through my telly. You can show the television now and turn on the lights. See, here we have the lights turned on. So before, when we tried to turn off the lights, the, we had a problem that the lights were turn, weren't turned off and there was still 20% or 30% of the light brightness which was still coming. Now you can see, turn off the lights. See, it works. And now I'm going to show you, turn on the lights. How the brightness is going to work for this one. Reduce the light brightness to 30%. See, you can see, I'm not sure if you can, you are able to see it clearly through the camera, but the light in the room has significantly reduced to 30%. I'm not now going to increase it to 100% and show you again. Increase the light brightness to 100%. See, it works again. So this way you have completely solved the problem of the lights turning on and turning off just from your TV remote and also brightening up the room or just dimming it down according to your requirement. This way you can get the Wi-Fi enabled dimmers to your requirement because in the market at the moment, the LED smart Wi-Fi dimmers are not available. So you get the effect that you need by just using two smart gadgets to solve the problem. I hope this video has resolved your problem and I hope you liked the video. Thank you very much for your time and if this has been helpful, please give us a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to our channel Everyday Life to get more videos and regular updates. Thank you.